Today we're going to go into iMovie and create a trailer. Click on the app and get that open. Once here, these are some projects I already have started, but to create a new trailer, you're going to click the plus button in the upper right hand corner. Create a click on trailer. It's going to open up this page and that's going to show you at the bottom these are all different themes that are already prepackaged. Uh, you can click the play button to see what that theme looks like. It'll show you the transitions, the fonts, the theme music. Also in the bottom right hand corner it shows you how long that trailer is. That's already preset and so that'll be that will change depending upon the themes that you choose. This one's 59 seconds. Teen is 1 minute 24 seconds. So it just depends on which theme you choose. Once you have a theme that will fit your project, in the upper right hand corner click Create Trailer. Once you're in here, you're going to have two different screens. One is your outline screen. This actually is the information that you fill in is actually going to be what shows up on the very last screen of your trailer. The storyboard is more of the working section. Everywhere that it's blue is a place where you can change the type and as you change it, when you look over here in this right hand screen, it shows you the changes as you make them. So you can see if the type and the words that you want to put in there are going to fit and what they're going to look like. And so there's these blue type boxes that go all the way down. I would recommend going ahead and planning your storyboard in this way and filling that all out before you start to shoot your, your video. You don't have to do it that way, but that's helpful. I am um, in each of these gray screens. Once you click on it with the blue outline, use the camera to shoot your video. It is going to give you a countdown. You'll see everything in this upper right hand corner. Uh, my iPad is on a flat surface, so right now it's just black. Click the record button. It will count down for you. Then it will start to shoot its footage and then it's going to stop and it's going to fill it in into that spot. Each of these frames is a predetermined length. So once you start filming, it's going to film and fill up that length and then move on. You can film out of order if you want to just by clicking those particular frames, hitting record, and letting it fill in. You can also put in still pictures if you like. So click the frame that you want to put that still photo in. Click photos and it'll access your camera roll. Once you find the photo that you want, simply click on it. It's going to automatically place it in that spot. There is an undo button that's up here in the upper right hand corner. It looks like a U-turn. If you do forget what options you have, you can click this question mark up here at the top in the center. And it has in yellow different prompts to show you what the different tasks or tools will do. I'm going to go out of this one for a second, go on the, into one that I've already created. Edit is this big button here. Now that we're in there, you can see that in the outline, this is the screen that you're going to see at the end of the trailer that's already filled in. In the storyboard, if I click on one of these frames, I can show you now the way that you can edit these slightly by deciding what goes inside that yellow box. So you can look up here in this top screen, see what we're seeing. I'll hit play to get an idea of what that clip is going to look like. So now that I'm happy with that one, so we go all the way down so all of my clips are filled in. Now if there is sound in the video footage that you shot that you do want to hear in the video, you can fix that. It automatically puts the theme music over everything and takes out all the sound from your videos. So if you want to bring that sound back in, in this clip, and then you in the down here in this little, in the bottom in the center, there's kind of a speaker. If you click that speaker, you'll see the sound is working again. It's got the theme music and the sounds going on in the video that was shot. I'm going to go ahead and turn that back off because I want to keep it with just the footage. If you click this button here, it's going to go out to full screen. I did want to show you one more thing, um, just to reiterate how you can change videos or photos once you have them in your clip. If I've got that photo in there and I no longer want it. If I just hit the trash can, it'll take it out. If I decide that I want to put video in there, you can go into your video footage, find that. This little arrow right here will make, means it's, that's how you get it to jump into that frame. 
So if you have footage in a window that you don't care for, maybe it's footage you just shot, you just hit the trash can button. Go back to camera if you want to shoot the video. Go to video if you want to pull it in from somewhere else. And go to photos if you want to pull in a still picture from your camera roll. Whenever you are completely finished, go back out to this screen here. This button will show you how to play it in full screen as well. The trash can is where you could throw away the project and start over. The middle button is how you would share it or upload it to the different websites, YouTube, Vimeo, iMovie Theater, Facebook. It also has a mail option. Depending on the size of the actual file will determine whether it will truly mail or not. If you click Save Video, that's going to put it in your camera roll. You can also put it to iTunes. And that's all.